Hello? <laughs> Hello, you got it? Oh, got we want us to grab it. it. Oh, there's, there's two. So, like, there's that one, and then there's this one. That's going to be like the pass around. Yeah. Okay. So, who are we going to start with? Coach, with the opening statement first. Let's talk about the game, and then we'll get to i uh, really excited about a home win. You know, anytime you can defend your home court, you know, especially against a team like, you know, Howard, I have to give Coach uh, Grace and her team a lot of credit, you know. Um, they've won their conference multiple times. You know, they've been to the NCAA tournament, you know, so um, they put up a heck of a battle, you know, which I, I wouldn't expect anything less from that program. So to be able to get a win against a program like that on our home floor, uh, especially in the first uh, game of our classic of trying to keep that hardware home, um, I couldn't be happier for our kids. And Coach, talk to me about, So we talked a lot about, you know, we want to obviously continue to play with uh, pace. You know, that's our our DNA, that's our identity, but we just needed to make sure we play with poise, you know. And like, you know, was said before at JU, we kind of, you know, unfortunately we let that one get away from us. And so for our kids to be able to come back, tough game, you know, team claws back, you know, gets it within two possessions for them to be able to, you know, keep their composure and a less than a week turnaround, you know, um, that was a big thing we harped on. And at the end of the day, they went out and did it. So um, I'm really, really proud of them for that. Well, we knew we were going to be going up against them with their original lineup that we expected where they tr play two true posts. And so we wanted to be able to combat that early on and not maybe get into some foul trouble or give them some easy looks just due to them being a little bit outsizing us. Um, and so for her to be able to come in and, you know, do, do a good job for us in the pain of protecting that and definitely got some great defensive rebounds for us. Um, definitely something I'm, I'm really proud of, hope to be able to slide in and play that role for us. Well, that's us, you know, um, we're, we shoot the ball, you know, if anything, you know, our girls will probably laugh when I say this, I get more pissed when you don't shoot the ball, you know, if you, if you got an opening, you fire, that's us, you know, the worst you can do is miss it, you know, we can live with that, we can grow from that, but we don't turn down shots, and so when you have, you know, five people on the floor that understand that and are confident within that and put in the time, knowing that they're going to get those windows, that's how you're able to come out, you know, Kalia hit, a, you know, a couple big ones for us, and, you know, kids feel confident, they know that they've got the trust, and they, they know that they have that capability, so for us, I mean, I joke with, you know, we shoot, either you shoot until you miss, and then if you miss it, you shoot until you make the next one, you know, and so when our kids have that type of mentality, I'm not surprised at all that they're able to have that production from the three-point line. Hey. <laughs> Um, well, I think it was just confidence. Like last game, you know, wasn't really that much present, but coach got on me. He's like, you got to be effective, not just offensively, but defensively. I felt it started defensively, like getting stops, rebounding and stuff like that, which just edged me on to like keep playing and stuff like that. You hit your first three-point game. Yeah, <laughs> I did. <laughs> um, does that go back to what coach mentioned a little bit earlier about shooting it? You have the green light. Is that something that you feel comfortable with, even though you don't really take as many three-point shots as the other teammates? Yes, I think. Coach is more confident in me shooting a three than I am in myself sometimes. But, like, her telling me to shoot the ball, knowing that I can, it just helps a lot. I look over there when I shot my first one. I'm like, gosh, I shoot it. Yeah. I'm just very happy that I'm not scared to shoot it. <laughs> I came a long way. But, yeah, my, my teammates want me to shoot those shots, too. So, just got to warm it up and shoot them. Thank you, Julia. Of course. Sifa. Hi, Sifa. Hi. Finally, the, the results, how does that make you feel? 
Uh, it makes me feel excited. It's been a long time coming, and I have a great uh, coaching staff that believes in me. So the confidence they have me, uh, they put in me, it makes me like just want to go hard every single time I step on the floor. And let's talk about the three-point shot as well. Uh, last game was, was kind of iffy, kind of some shots were going in, some shots were not. Today, it seems like it was more of a complete package. Does, does, does your three-point shot find success more when your teammates are also knocking down shots? Because I feel like when you when you are in your rhythm and shooting threes, your other teammates as well. So if you feed off that energy from your teammates when they're knocking down shots, you will knock down shots. How does that feel when everyone is just working together? Like that? Yeah, absolutely. I feel like uh, when I see my teammates making them, it just makes me feel like you know why uh, you gotta knock these down. It just don't work sometimes, but I just be like, oh man, come on, pick your head up shoot the next one because she be screaming at me if I don't shoot the ball. So you know you can shoot the ball because the, the worst you can do is miss it like you said and then you just have to like have confidence and then just knock them down. Thank you. Steve. Thank you. What's up? I'm good. How you doing? Good. Congrats on the win. Thank you. So let's talk about your role with the team. It seems okay. like you're kind of like a spark plug when you come off the bench. <laughs> Um, nah, my mindset doesn't change. It's more of like, let's just keep going. Like, all right, we might have missed a few shots in the first half, but I'm in now, so it doesn't even matter. Like, everything's different. Um, I just feel like my teammates have been working so hard, so, like, everything is, like, mainly about them. So I'm trying to mainly look for them more than myself. So. You said it's mainly about them. Yeah. So when you get onto the court, are you passing first? Are you trying to beat your teammate first, or are you just trying to get more involved in the defense? What is uh, I'm mainly looking for them first. Like, uh, I know Sifa likes to shoot this three, so I'm going to look for her when she's ready to shoot this three. I, I don't really, like, right now I'm not really trying to score too much. I like to get the assist because a pretty pass is better than a bucket to me. <laughs> so, yeah. Okay. You've been kind of like a pest on the perimeter, getting steals, not deflecting balls. Yeah. Um, how does um, – do you take pride in oh, yeah. the sense of, you know, when I – I'm kind of like a spear. When I start getting steals and I start to start trickling down to the rest of the team. Oh, yeah. How does that make you feel knowing that you're kind of like a spear of the, of the defense, a point of attack? Uh, that's just – hey, pressure bust a pipe. Oh. <laughs> Hey, they can't handle the pressure. I'm I'm coming like 100%. And when my teammates play in the passing lanes and all that type of stuff, it just makes the game even more fun. So defense always is, let's go. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. That was good. Hey, one all them cookies. She said, bust the pipe. <laughs> <laughs>